Hello everybody, it's Mark here again from GrimTreeGames.com, online game store and blog. And tonight we're going to do an unboxing of City of Zombies from Think Noodle Games. So, the film looks quite cool. Cartoony Zombies. Let's have a look at the back, which is what the first thing you have a gander's at in the shop. So, one six players, one solo, cool. 8 plus 30 minutes, sounds pretty cool. Um, so I do know a bit about this game, I know that it's a math puzzle type game, um, it's a good good mental math exercise, good for um, kids to play. I wouldn't say, I don't think it's aimed at kids, it's aimed at, you know, anyway that likes zombies and using the brain, but I think it's very very good for kids that are um, which just, just adds a bit of fun to learning, doesn't it really? So, okay, we'll go to the back, let's see what's inside. City of Zombies, there we go. New game smell. Zombie. New game smell. Slightly putrid. Okay, so, board. Nice big board. Lots of nice artwork. It's huge. Okay, I think so. This is like your home. This is our settlement. This is the barricade here. And I think there's always going to come down here. I'm going to try and kill them. Cool, eh? Let's see what else got. Rules. Like two pages. It's good. Yeah. Uh, advanced rules, which is quite cool. And then cards, because it is primarily a card game. So let's open them and see what we can see. I think what they've done, again, I need to read this, but I think these are the family friendly zombies. Okay. Which are quite. Sorry. That's not due to boredom, it's just <laughs> later than it should be. So these are. They're the family one friendly ones, I think. Is there actually a little bit. A little bit gruesome, look at that. Very stylized. So, yeah, maybe not these ones with the kiddies, with the kiddie kiddies. Oof. I mean, cool, don't get me wrong. I like them. But maybe they're for. Zombie. Maybe they're for um, kiddies that. Oh, sorry, older. All the children. Anyway, so so I think I think this I think that's the group. Is that the gruesome deck? What have we got here now? Oh, okay, so we've got. Can, uh, these must just be things that turn up the survivors. Okay, so these are people that you can rescue. I guess so these are your point cards. Again, I've not read the rules yet. Here we go. Granddad. Catherine, the bloody ah yeah yeah yeah, because the I think these match. Oh maybe not. 
But anyway, yeah. This this is the more grown up part. Yeah. Conclusion card. Anyway, so that's 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 the first one. No, I am willing to bet that. This deck is the more family friendly one. Which is nice actually, you know, didn't. If there's no functional difference and it's just different art, you know, that's that's a big deal. And I would honestly say the numbers are different, it's like harder to to hit those ones, but you can see this is the more cartoony. Cartoony zombies. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I know. Yeah, so th there's some of the more gruesome ones. And things happening, survivors, goodies, more cartoony. Are these the same as the other ones? Just more cartoony, I think they yeah. are. Let's just, just test my theory a second. Yeah, these are the numbers are bigger. So, well, this is what I know about the game so far. Literally, it's not a lot. I know that this is a board that zombies get placed on. I know you got to keep them away from your barricades. Um, but I also know. That you roll dice. Swine. You roll dice, three dice, and using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, using um, these all the dice. I'm not sure. I need to really But anyway, you use those dice to try and kill the zombies. Okay. So that's a one, and so I've got a three and a two. So two take away three equals one. So a dead zombie. Um, it sounds fun. It sounds like it's going to be something to get your brain going. And like I say as well, for kids, for helping with the mental maths, it's a fantastic idea. So anyway, that's the unboxing. That's what you get. All the playing as well for some reason. No doubt we'll find out. It's gone the wrong way there. Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll do what we always do. I'll read the rules, we'll play it a few times, and we'll do a game overview, hopefully, and if it fits the bill, we'll do a let's play. And you can see just how bad my mental math is. It's dire. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.